<gasps> wow! Ow! <laughs> hey, it could happen. You never know. <laughs> How do you guys like my intro? Give me a thumbs up. This one's for you, Martin. I really hope you feel better, buddy. So you guys, last I had left you, I had been abducted by this little boy named Sinjin because he had taken me home by accident in his Happy Meal because the Hermites were trying to take me back to their planet Nam. And so they shrunk me really small and I had flown into this Happy Meal box and Sinjin thought I was a toy and then he brought me home and I kind of just went with it. So this kid Sinjin was actually quite a nice little kid, I have to say. It was really sad. He would look at me and he would be really nice to me and set me on his nightstand at night and make sure nothing attacked me. And then since I look so real, he would say, you look so real, I wish you were my friend. He told me that kids were really mean to him at school and someone would even throw him in trash cans and they would punch him and tell him he was a four eyes. And I felt so bad for Sinjin that I couldn't bring it upon myself to stay. So I decided that I would stay with Sinjin for a week and then I would very slowly creep my way out and then I would come and I would check on him from time to time, just, just to make sure that he was okay. And so he was so awesome. I actually was quite enjoying myself. He would, we would play all kinds of games like bank robbers and scuba divers and all kinds of really strange things. This Sinjin kid had quite an awesome imagination. We were sitting like this and he's like, and the bank robber dude's like, how dare you try to steal my money? And the lady, myself, was like, well, you are a terrible person. I'm going to take you and enslave you and put you in jail for stealing all the money from poor people. And so we, they would have him and they would chase and they'd run around. And then he decided that I was going to get attacked. So he, had, he found a boot in the side of his room. And he said, I guess he thought to himself that he would treat it as a hole. And he said, I'm going to put you into the hole. He named me Jane. It was so cute. He told me, Jane, I'm going to put you into a hole. And don't worry, it's, it's dark in there, but it'll be okay. And so he takes me, and he puts me into this boot. And this, the bank robber is trying to find me, and he can't find me. And I'm sitting there, and I'm laughing to myself, trying so hard so he can't hear me. And then all of a sudden, I hear, Sinjin! Sinjin, come and kiss Mommy goodbye! I guess it was time for Sinjin to go to school. His dad was going to take him. And so he's like, okay, Mommy! And he leaves me there in the boot and he runs downstairs and about three seconds later his mom comes up the stairs she was having a garage sale it turned out and she grabbed the boot that i was in as i was trying to get out of it and i hid i'm like oh great now what i never get a break and so she takes a couple things and i'm kind of looking out of the boot at the top and staring at the ceiling and we're going down the stairs and she sets me on this lawn table and there are a bunch of people swarming out and there was a little hole in the boot, so I was peeking. And then all this lady, all of a sudden, this lady comes up. And she looks at the boots, which were like a suede navy. And she says to her, hmm, I like these. How much are all these boots? And she's like, the mom's like, hmm, I'll take $5. And the lady's like, no, two. And she says, okay, fine, you can have them for $2. So she buys the boots. And this little lady, I don't know, I think she was from like Yugoslavia or something. And she have, is, gets into her car and she drives away. And I'm like, oh, no, I'll never know what happened to Sinchin. But then all of a sudden this lady has her feet up and she has these bunions on her feet and she's shoving the boots on and I'm in the, in the toe holding on like this so trying to make sure I don't fall out. And she takes the other boot and she shoves it on her foot. And I'm like, oh, that's disgusting. And she has her little toes that are wiggling. And I'm like, this is just lovely. And so she was going to go shopping at Macy's that day. I don't know why she decided to buy boots from a garage sale. She's going to go shop at Macy's. And she gets out and she's in the parking lot. And all of a sudden she steps into a puddle. And you know what happens when I'm small? When, she, when a person will put water on me or I come in contact with water yeah I blow up again into regular size human and so she steps in this puddle and her shoe explodes and I fly out I'm like whoa and she looks at me and she screams she's like what the heck is this and I ran so fast because all these other people had seen and I was so scared and it had turned out that this, uh, this entire time the hermites were following behind the car and they had known that I was in the boot. But the only thing is that the one vice that the Hermites have is that they can't be near shoe stink or any type of nasty, pungent smells. So they stayed away. But as soon as I exploded out of the boot, they were after me. And I could see them. They were zooming. They're like, there you are. Come back here. And I'm screaming and I'm running. And I run so fast down this hill. And then all of a sudden, this thing starts to appear before me, making this really weird grinding noise. Like, shoo, 
and then it was like this blue box, this blue telephone box, and I stood right before it, and it said, like, police box, and I'm like, what, what is this? And all of a sudden, the door pops open, and it's this tall guy who's really thin, and he's wearing a suit and a tie, and he has really awesome hair, he's quite cute, and he looks at me, and he has a British accent, and he says, get in here, get in here now, and I'm like, what the heck? He's like, yes, get in here. And so I run and I get into the box and he slams the door. And I stand before him and I look up at him and he smiles with a really quite charming grin. And he says, hello, welcome. And I'm like, what? He says, this is the TARDIS. I'm like, TARDIS? What the heck is a TARDIS? And I look and it's, and it's huge inside. And this is supposed to be this really tiny little box, but it's huge inside the spaceship. And he says to me, well, it means time and relative dimension in space. And I'm like, a time machine? He says, yes, actually, I'm here trying to get rid of the Hermites because they are trying to abduct people and turn them into pop stars is what I had found out. I'm like, yeah, that's what they're trying to do to me. And he says, well, it's quite nice to meet you. What is your name? And I'm like, it's Erica. And I look at him and I say, well, what is your name? And he says, the doctor. And I'm like, doctor who? And he smiles.